10 year old boys recovering after being shot at a summer program at the YWCA in East Knoxville. It happened at the Phyllis Wheatley Center. Police say a 14 year old brought two guns and one of them accidentally went off inside one of the centers in the boys backpack is what police are originally saying. Police say the teen left but was caught a few blocks away. A teen charged with two counts of unlawful possession of a weapon and one count of reckless endangerment. More charges could come, according to police. Our Sam Luther spoke to somebody who works with the young boy closely at that center. He's joining us from UT Medical Center tonight. What's the latest on the boy's condition as well, Sam? Yeah, Ted, they are calling it stable yet critical condition here tonight at the 10 o'clock hour here outside of UT Medical Center. Details still very tight lipped at this point. Investigators likely going to take the night to give this family and this 10 year old boy the chance to continue to fight tonight. But there is reason for optimism. KPD tells us tonight that since this 10 year old got to UT Medical Center, the condition has only improved. 43 kids started their day here at the Phyllis Wheatley Center for day camp, a place parents rely on. The Y is the place to be for the kids, <laughs> and they get three meals a day. But right when the day started, 14-year-old intern China Mobley knew something was wrong. It was sad, like it was something I never saw before, so it really like shook me. Mobley oversees a handful of kids every day. She quickly learned that one of those kids had been shot in what Knoxville police calls an accidental shooting. We're not saying the child's name for privacy reasons, but it's someone this camp worker knew well. He's a really cool kid. He always wore his glasses. Every time he lost them, he would make sure that, wait, where's my glasses? I need help, I need help. So I would always make sure he had his glasses on so he would know what was going on. KPD says this child was shot at least one time after a gun was accidentally fired inside the backpack of a 14 year old. Police say there were two handguns in the backpack as that teen now faces multiple charges. Mobley says that 14 year old was a fellow intern at the camp and her attention now turns to the condition of the 10 year old who was in her care every day this summer. He was a nice kid. I loved being around him. He always made jokes, made me laugh and everybody liked him. Parents hoping this can be an opportunity to keep their kids safer, hoping nobody feels the need to bring a gun around children. You know, check their phones, check their social media, check their friends, hold them accountable. It's discipline your kids and just show them that you love them. Heard right there from a parent of that worker you just heard there from tonight. The question, guys, on the minds of many and the one that remains unanswered is why did a 14 year old feel compelled to bring two handguns into a summer day camp? Ted, those are questions that are, are fair and ones that many parents have been asking tonight, but they are answers we just don't have yet. KPD tells us that, like I mentioned before, they're going to work through the night, really process all of this information, think overnight in, into the morning hours about those answers that people and us have been asking throughout the evening and into those morning hours. We'll be sure to share them with you as soon as we get them. All right, I guess it's good news that that day camp, the, the summer program is going to be open tomorrow. The kids can go back if they if they all want to. Today, Knoxville Mayor India Kincannon saying she visited with the family of the 10 year old and her heart goes out to all those who are impacted by this what police call accidental shooting.